The following original Link TV program was created by Culture Project and produced for broadcast by Link TV. To learn more, visit linktv.org slash blueprint. Our very last thing <laughs> um, is an acted piece um, from Ron's book, The Way of the World, and uh, Ron is going to introduce this. Our last uh, character, um, though there are a couple on the stage here next to me, um, <laughs> and God, vivid ones, God. Don't let him talk about you. Like gotta, you guys got to get in the next book, I'll tell you that. Right, musical chairs. Who's yeah. one of them? Um, is Wendy Chamberlain. Now, uh, Wendy speaks uh, to some of the things we've been talking about. Let me just tell you a little about her before you meet her. She was ambassador to Pakistan during 9-11 for George Bush. After that, she said, this isn't working out. Took another job. She was head of USAID. That's the US uh, Development Agency. Uh, and she really was uh, governing much of the development in Iraq during the period of crisis, building the schools, um, you know, all the stuff uh, to provide good works. And then finally, she's the UN Refugees Commissioner, traveling the world, seeing the havoc of displaced people. And what she's trying to do is come up, based on her hard experience, with some answer of how the United States might be an agent, with all of our might and our wealth, to this shared idea of human progress. I don't think the American public understands how alienated the rest of the world is. I mean, some of my closest friends think it's still the other guy's fault. If we can just get rid of the bad people, kill them, take them out, everything will work out. Establishing control over territories using armies, making control our objective, is a losing game in this era. What I've learned and this is hard to say after 28 years at the State Department, is that the answers will probably come from people to people, not from government to government. Driving the car or in the shower, I find myself thinking more and more about the Peace Corps. The US government hasn't really created a program that reached people, really reached them since. You know, we sent our best and brightest to villages around the world. They got the worms, they ate the weird food. It wasn't a program measured properly in the number of canals that were dug. No. It was an idea. An idea that reached the people of the world. It was simply that we, who have been given so much, care about you. That right there is actually a core American value. To do the right thing because it's right and because you can. I don't think we have any enemies. I can't believe I just said that. I think everybody deep down wants us to succeed because they want the real values of America to succeed. You see, we don't trust our own values enough. That's the problem. People want the values we stand for. Marshall Plan values, Peace Corps values, and really believing in self-determination, free will, education, and opportunity for their sake not ours. But if you think of hearts and minds as a policy, as a strategy to regain some of the moral authority we used to have, you've already lost. Because it's not a tactic. The Peace Corps, the Marshall Plan, were things that we tried that were real, real to people. Because you see, they weren't about where we'd end up or what we'd gain, but about how we want to be in the world. I mean, that's the idea of value, right? It's how you want to be, how you want to live. And that's what we need to transmit to the world, people to people, great waves of us, just regular people, young people building clinics or digging wells, laying electrical wires, carrying computers, something, something big. America's good at building things. Let's do that. Something we're good at. And ask nothing in return.
This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs that connect you to the world.